Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the reciprocity theorem. Reciprocity theorem statement is in any linear bilateral network consist of energy sources and resistors. Then the response is same before interchanging the source and after interchanging the source. This is a statement of the reciprocity theorem. So here, if we take one circuit here, we will take only one source to explain about the reciprocity theorem. <coughs> Here, first we will take one circuit and we will find the response. And after finding the response, we will interchange the source from here to here. After interchanging the source, we will see the response in this branch. Before interchanging the source, we will see the response in this branch. And after interchanging the source, we will see the response in this branch. So according to reciprocity theorem, before interchanging the source and after interchanging the source, the response should be same. So like this, we will get IEF should be equal to I by. The response in this branch before interchanging the source should be equal to the response in this branch after interchanging the source. This is the reciprocity theorem statement. Now we will take one example and we will verify reciprocity theorem. Okay, verification of reciprocity theorem. So now I am taking the one simple circuit to verify the reciprocity theorem. This circuit is consists of two loops and one voltage source and there are three resistors. Okay, now case one is before interchanging the source. Before interchanging the source, I am seeing the response in this branch. Take the loop one is in loop one I1 current is flowing, in loop two I2 current is flowing. Loop one is in clockwise direction and loop two also is in clockwise direction. Okay, now we will apply the mesh analysis. Okay, and we will see the response in this, in this branch. Apply KVL in loop one. If we apply KVL in loop one, we will get minus two plus plus 10 volts is equal to four into I1 plus six into I1 minus I2, six into I1 minus I2. This 6 ohm resistor is a common for loop 1 as well as the loop 2. That's why we are getting 6 into I1 minus I2. If we simplify this equation, we will get 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 into I1 minus 6 into I2 is equal to 10. It is equation number 1. Okay, Now we will apply the KVL in loop 2. If we apply KVL in loop 2, we will get in loop 2, there is no source. That's why we will take zero. If there is no source in the particular loop, we will take source voltage value is equal to zero. That is equal to, for 5 ohm resistor, only one current is flowing. That is I2. 5 into I2 plus 6 into I2 minus I1. As a 6 ohm resistor is common resistor for loop 1 and loop 2. For 6 ohm resistor, both the currents are flowing. Okay, as the both are in the opposite direction, we are getting the difference here. Okay, 0 is equal to 5 into I2 plus 6 into I2 minus I1. This is the equation we will get by using the KVL in loop 2. Now simplify the above equation. We will get minus 6 into I1 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. 11 into I2 is equal to 0. This is equation number 2. From equation number 1 and 2, we will get I1 is equal to 1.49 amperes. I2 is equal to 0 0.81 amperes. This values we will get by using the calculator. Before interchanging the source, the response is Ix is equal to the, the, what is the current flowing through this branch? The current flowing through this branch is I2. Okay, Ix is equal to, I2 is equal to 0 0.81. As the I2 value is 0 0.81, the current passing through the, in this branch is, that is I2 is equal to 0 0.81 amperes. So what is the value of the uh, in this branch response 0 0.81 amperes. So that is before interchanging the source, the response is 0 0.81 amperes. Now we will see if we interchange the source, how the response will be. After interchanging the source, the response is I am interchanging the source from here to here and we will see the response here now. Okay, so here also, 
I am taking loop one is in clockwise direction and loop two is in also in clockwise direction only. Assume that in loop one I one current is flowing, in loop two I two current is flowing. If we apply the KVL in loop one, we will get zero is equal to four into I one plus six into I one minus I two. As there is no source in the loop one, we will get zero. Six plus four is equal to ten into I one minus six into I two is equal to zero. That is equation number one. Now, if we apply the KVL in the loop two, we will get the current is co coming from plus two minus. That's why we will get minus ten is equal to five into I two plus six into I two minus I one. Here, if we split this equation, we will get minus six into I one plus five into I two plus six into I two. That is five plus six is eleven into I two is equal to minus ten. This is equation number two. From equation number one and two, if we use the calculator, we will get I one is equal to minus zero point eight one amperes, and I two is equal to minus one point three five amperes. So these are the values we are getting if we solve the equation number one and two. So now, after interchanging the source, the response is I y is equal to Minus of I one is equal to zero point eight one amperes. Okay, so here I one current direction is in clockwise direction, and we are taking the I one direction is in opposite direction. So that's why minus of I one that is zero point eight one amperes. This is the response after interchanging the source. Okay, so here before interchanging the source, the response is I x. And after interchanging the source, the response is I Y. Ends before interchanging the source and after interchanging the source, the responses we are getting the same. That is, I X value we are getting zero point eight one amperes only, and I Y we are getting zero point eight one amperes only. So from this we can say that before interchanging the source and after interchanging the source, the response is same. That response value is zero point eight one amperes. Hence, the reciprocity theorem is verified. Like this, we will verify the reciprocity theorem. First, we will uh, find the response before interchanging the source, and after that, we will interchange the source, and we will see the response whether we are getting the same response or not. If we interchange the source, that we already verified by by using the KVL. Okay. Uh, that response we are getting is zero point eight one amperes. This is about the reciprocity theorem. Thank you.